So the question is, what do you think the, the quarterback room, if you will, looks like in 2025? It's, it's a fun conversation to have, and this is one I was kind of working on, and this was even before kind of Deshaun went down. Um, you look at the class right now, and look, I think Cam Ward is interesting. I don't know if Cam Ward's game necessarily fits the Stefanski system. I think Shador Sanders' game probably fits the Stefanski system a little bit better. You know, there's certainly going to be some questions about, you know, how Dion and his son handle everything. Um, Jalen Milrow is interesting, but I think maybe he's a little bit more of a playmaker than he is just a traditional quarterback. You know, Jameis is going to certainly get a big opportunity here, uh, you know, over the next, uh, you know, nine games to prove his wherewithal for this team. You know, you could look at a guy like Sam Darnold, who's having a great run in Minnesota right now, and it's probably not going to matter come 2025. Justin Fields certainly could be an interesting name. Um, you know, where were they last draft season on Michael Penix? And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of teams that are going to call the Atlanta Falcons and say, you know, did you just do this to move on from the kid one year later? Certainly an interesting option or certainly, you know, a hand to at least play out. Uh, Anthony Richardson, if you wanted to keep JW to start in 2025, I, I can't lie. I, I'd make a call to the Colts because I think a lot of what Anthony Richardson needs to be developed in this league is probably stuff that would, work with Kevin Stefanski. He needs a lot of work on his short game. You know, he's kind of, you know, happy Gilmore type of quarterback. He's got a great big deep arm, but you know, when you have to force him to, you know, throw these third and fours and second and nines, these are the stuff he, you know, kind of struggles with. You know, I do think DTR would be here. Do you want to maybe look at another reclamation project and a former first round pick for the San Francisco 49ers and Trey Lance. He'll be 25. He's barely played. And you know, he barely played in college. The guy needs time. There's several avenues to go. Um, a lot of this maybe will be you know, predicated on where the Browns finish and where that first round pick would fall. Um, but I do think you also have to have some hesitation because you're seeing with what some of these teams have gone through in the last couple of years. I think these teams just jump to draft a quarterback and maybe don't have the best plan in place or they draft the quarterback and just say, hey, hopefully it works and it works quickly because, you know, my job could be on the line if I don't find the guy and find him quickly. You know, there's definitely a long conversation to be had about young quarterbacks and development within the NFL. I'm not sure anybody's going to listen, um, but it certainly has to be handled much, much better.